welcome to the Retreading Business YouTube channel. On the latest edition of the Retreadcast, we went over to Romania and we interviewed Lucien Philippe, who's in charge of sales and marketing at Radberg, the Romanian Retreader. Here now is that interview in full. Today on the Retreadcast, we're going over to Romania to talk to one of Europe's fastest growing retreaders. We've published stories about the passenger tyre retreader Radberg on a, on a number of occasions in the past, mostly written by our correspondent uh, Vladislav Horotnikov, but Romania is a country I've never been to personally, so I'm delighted today to be able to talk to Lucien Philippe, who is in charge of sales and marketing at Radberg. Good afternoon, Lucien, and welcome to the Retreadcast. Hello, nice to be here. In the interview we carried out in issue 2023 of Retreading Business, you talked about the planned expansion project that was due to commence production in June involving the purchase of new moulds and presses that would result in a 30% production increase of the plant. Could you please bring us up to date on the progress of that project and has its implementation been affected by the, the COVID pandemic? Uh, the pandemic uh, delayed us for a bit. Uh, we are now, uh, even with though we had to finish the project in June 2020, right now uh, we are at uh, two thirds of the capacity. Uh, the last uh, third of capacity uh, is still delayed uh, because uh, the new molds require a special uh, type of presses, which uh, with just arrived from China. The project should be finished in about three months from now. Uh, the molds uh, which uh, we, uh, we have now are produced in Europe and some of the presses in China and the rest of the presses is, are produced in Europe. Okay, so you also talked about a plan to invest an additional 5 million euros to purchase 200 more molds and 40 additional presses. Is this plan still live and, and what time scale do you have for its uh, implementation? Yes, uh, the, uh, this uh, plan is still in, uh, is still in progress uh, for the next two years. Uh, we should accomplish it. Uh, some of the molds and presses are here. Uh, more are to come. Uh, and uh, with uh, that amount of money, we want to buy uh, more equipment like extruder, buffing machines, uh, sherograph, and uh, many other equipment which we need for retiding the, the tires. Excellent. Uh, well, that sounds uh, exciting. Uh, your initial expansion project was uh, funded by a substantial EU grant. So could you tell us a little bit uh, about the process you underwent in, in achieving this and how you managed to be successful? We had uh, specialists uh, who made this uh, project available and uh, with uh, our whole hard work and perseverance, uh, we, uh, we accomplish and we succeeded to, uh, to make this available. We started this project because uh, we wanted to produce new jobs and uh, to increase our economy and to help our local community because uh, this is very important for us being a local producer. Absolutely, so <clears throat> yeah, let's talk about uh, Chinese uh, tires for, for a moment. You've been very successful in overcoming the impact that uh, these uh, cheap tires from, uh, from China have had on the market. So can you tell us a little bit about how you've achieved this and how you think the influence of Chinese tire manufacturers will, attract, will uh, affect the retread market in the future? With all the investment uh, we've made uh... Uh, until now, we succeeded to increase our production line, which allowed us to negotiate for the raw materials uh, and with lower cost for uh, the same quality of raw materials, uh, uh, helped us uh, to keep our production in Europe. Uh, and of course, because of the pandemic, people begin to understand the dire situation of the environment and uh, now they are choosing our green tires. Uh, also, the pandemic made uh, the people more interested in the, the local economic economy, and uh, this helped us, uh, of course, because we are a local producer and uh, we are selling uh, here mostly in Romania. Okay, well, one strategy that you followed uh, in recent times is the acquisition of uh, various retread plants around Europe. 
in the Czech Republic, in Germany, for example. Uh, also, you recently acquired the equipment and the brand name of Kingpin, the last of uh, our UK-based car tyre retreaders. Well, what was the thinking behind these acquisitions, and are there still plans to acquire other retread plants in the future? And if so, what are the criteria for this? Uh, so, as you know, we buy the, the Kingpin plant and the brand from UK in the summer of 2020. Uh, the, this strategy um, helped us increasing our production, uh, produc production cap capacity with uh, low investment in used equipment. And uh, the used equipment is actually a, a little a bit more quality, uh, has uh, more quality than the equipment from China. We are still negotiating the in a, for the acquisition uh, to uh, buy another uh, production line, but uh, until uh, then uh, we can't uh, tell you more. We will uh, tell you more about in the next uh, interview which we'll have. If uh, the negotiation will come to an end, if not, uh, we'll have nothing to say. Sure, well, we, uh, we look forward to hearing about that when the, when the time comes. So. Uh, tell us uh, about your plans for increasing your presence in uh, export markets. Uh, what's your strategy for achieving increased uh, presence globally? And which are the key target markets? We are now uh, have wholesales in South America and uh, Africa. Uh, and uh, we sold uh, tires in UK, but uh, the Brexit uh, hold uh, made that uh, sales on hold. And right now, until uh, we may make all our uh, plan for the future, we, we put that uh, sales on standby. We start. Uh, we will start uh, by selling. Uh, tires uh, online on, uh, in Germany and Switzerland, where we are tire collectors. And then uh, we'll start selling in uh, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, and uh, the world country uh, around Romania and uh, in the Europe, why not? Absolutely. So uh, you've explained in, in previous interviews about the importance of increasing your product range including covering almost all the sizes available on the world market. Uh, tell us something about your plans in this regard and the time scale you envisage for, for achieving it. As I told you, we, are, we have already purchased new molds. Uh, the first batch arrived during the pandemic of 2020. The second batch uh, should arrive in the next month. And uh, the third batch uh, should arrive the, around the summer this year. Uh, the molds are produced in Europe, and uh, the molds are mostly for the sizes of 19 and 20, uh, because uh, we already we have for uh, 17, 18, uh, 16, and the others which uh, we are already selling uh, good enough. Uh, having all the sizes in our uh, portfolio, it's it's a little it's a little hard, but uh, it's it's a plan for uh, for the future. We want to make uh, all the sizes available because uh, we want to have all the uh, all the market available sure okay so you, you've also talked about the importance of improving your tire collection network ar around europe in order to have control over uh, in, you know the imported casings so, to tell us about your strategy for achieving this and your, your key target areas geographically and the kind of investments that you're making in this part of your business? We invested in uh, personnel, in uh, logistic and communication mostly. Uh, right now, uh, I think uh, you know already, we are uh, in Switzerland, the biggest collector, uh, tire collector. Uh, we have 12 years of experience from there. We, we applied that strategy in Germany. Uh, we started uh, to collect uh, around uh, August or June. And right now we already have 10 deposits opened in Germany where we already collect and we have our fleet. And uh, I think this week we just, uh, yeah, the, yeah, this week we just uh, extended in the Vienna, Austria with uh, our first uh, deposit. Uh, with uh, hard work uh, and uh, perseverance is, is the same uh, strategy. We just don't uh, give up and uh, we try to uh, 
to fight with the biggest uh, collectors in in uh, Germany and Austria. And until then, uh, I think we can. Uh, I think we can succeed uh, because uh, we have, uh, as we told, as I told you, twelve years of experience from uh, for Switzerland. Uh, we know what we are doing, and uh, this is our. Uh, and the goal is to uh, to become the uh, the main collector in Europe. This is our our goal because we need the we need the sizes the the cases uh, for uh, for retreating. Um, because if we don't have the cases, uh, we can't produce any tires. Absolutely, though. Well, that's certainly the case. That's certainly true. So finally, uh, uh, Lucien, I wanted to ask you about your approach to tire recycling. Uh, with a fast-growing tyre collection network, tyre recycling is certainly going to play an important role in the future. But I know you have a, a tyre recycling facility in Romania already, but, but can you tell us what your plans are for the tyre recycling sector in the future? Do you have any plans to expand your activities in this sector on a wider basis? As uh, I think it, it should be for everybody that uh, recycling is the most important part uh, because we need to protect our environment. It is the only one which can sustain right now the life until uh, we go to Mars. Uh, we have a little to wait uh, until then. Uh, we are developing our research uh, and we want to acquire a, a rubber pyrolysis. Uh, and with the pyrolysis, we can uh, close the whole tire business cycle. Uh, and we can uh, have a closed cycle. This is a project uh, which will uh, take uh, around for three years. Until then, uh, we can uh, still recycle tires in rubber pavements, in the rubber granules, and uh, with uh, tire retreating uh, until we have the pyrolyze. Well, we look forward to uh, reporting on, on that project in the future, uh, certainly. Well, thank you very much for your input today, Luis. You're we welcome. Yeah, we wish you uh, well with your growth plans. We look forward to talking to you again on the Retreadcast very soon. Thank you. This is a nice talk.